What's good YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this new tutorial. Last time we looked at three chord progressions for drill beats and today we're gonna look at how to add the bass notes. Basically we're gonna look at how to be in the right key, how to be in tune. It's really important when you start making beats otherwise you're gonna be off key. By the way link in the description to watch a tutorial where I'll show you how to make the drill bass sound but for this video I'm gonna look at how to create the notes. Let's get straight into the tutorial. Last time we looked at this chord progression and this is what we have with the bass line. Starting point, I want to add the root notes. As a reminder, we had an A minor, a D minor, an E minor, and an A minor. A on the first bar, D on the second bar, E on the third bar, and again A on the fourth bar. One thing you could do is to make your bass hit at the same time as the kick drum. So this is my kick. Here I'm going to add the offbeat on the bass as well. The same thing here. I can do a copy and paste. If I wanted to add the D, instead of playing it here, I can put it in the middle of the second bar. Here as well. Let's do the end with the kick drum as well. That's what we have so far. step is to find the right pitch because here the bass doesn't sound quite powerful so I'm going to pitch it down. The key is A minor and usually a good key to have a big bass sound is C. I select everything, command A, and I go from A to C an octave lower. We have a big bass sound. Now the time we're all waiting for are the bass slides. You can basically see music as groups of four bars with some repetitions. Usually what works well is to place the slides at the end of the fourth or the eighth bar. It really depends if you want to make a four or an eight bar loop. This is the fourth bar and here I'm gonna place some slides. What you can do is to place it an octave higher. So the C here, I'm going to play a C, but higher. Okay, we miss one thing and it's a slide. Then make sure you go to pitch bend and here you can draw a shape like that. 
and this goes from low to high. You can change it a bit. Let's try to have this note an octave higher as well. And if you want to do something even more extreme, you can place this one an octave higher. That's a bit too much for my taste. Finally, here at the end of the eighth bar, we're gonna do something. I place this an octave higher. I add some notes. And now I'm gonna try to find notes that sound good. And usually for the bass, you can try to play with the octave or with the fifth. The fifth is seven semitones higher. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And play around with it until you find a good bass line. Something like that, for example, let me just add the slides. Really good stuff, let's move on. Now, I'm gonna try to add that same bass line for chord progression number two, and as we can hear, it doesn't quite work. Okay, the beginning works, here it doesn't work because the chords are playing an F major. As a reminder, the chords are A minor, D minor, F major and E major. So I need to change the bass notes on the third and on the fourth bar. So here on the third bar I have an E, so I need to put an F. And for the fourth bar, I need to go from A to E. I can do the same thing for bar seven and eight. I need to change those notes as well. Maybe let's play an E. It sounds better. I'm gonna do the same thing as before, so I'm gonna go from the key of A minor to the key of C minor. I select everything, command A. Same thing for the bass notes. For this last chord progression is going to be quite straightforward because we only have a C and a B. You just have to bear in mind that the C is for two bars, so on the first and on the second bar, and the B is for two bars as well on the third and on the fourth bar, and then it repeats itself. So the first one works, but here I need to go from F to C. The third bar we have a B, and the fourth bar as well. I need to change those notes as well. Let's try something else at the end. third 
code PROGRESSION. Easy peasy. That's it for today. I hope you liked it. We looked at how to add the notes and how to be in the right pitch. That's really important when you start making beats. Make sure that your bass is in the right key. You know what I'm gonna say. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. I'll see you very soon for a new tutorial. Bye bye.